Uh, my name is uh, Gabor Samojai. I'm a professor of, uh, of chemistry at the University of California in Berkeley and uh, uh, faculty research uh, investigator in the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. How do you feel about getting this award and what were your thoughts when you knew about it? Well, when uh, a, a, a person in the telephone uh, called me from Spain and uh, congratulated me that I received the award, it was a great surprise. And then uh, some of the committee members uh, congratulated me and I was delighted and I thought that uh, this was uh, one of the major awards that I could get uh, for m my 35, 40 years of doing surface science. When you began your career, the processes behind chemical reactions and synthesis were a complete mystery. Today, researchers can see molecules at work. How would you describe the evolution of this work? It was a tremendous uh, uh, ride from um, uh, macroscopic and empirical uh, surface studies to molecular and atomic scale surface studies. Now, I'm delighted that we could develop the instrumentation to make that transition possible. Do you still feel that many scientists long for the thrill of discovery after a long and fruitful career? Uh, the thrill of the discovery is absolutely uh, adrenaline producing. <laughs> it appears that uh, in the laboratory when you make a discovery and you are not sure that it's right and then you can prove that it is right, uh, I cannot imagine a greater uh, uh, thrill uh, in life. There is a lot to be said for doing it for a full, a full lifetime. You have mentioned the current energy problems as one of the main challenges for chemistry today, for your area especially. Is this correct? Absolutely. Uh, it, is, it, it is clear that the energy crisis is upon us and unlike in the 1970s, it's uh, not going to disappear again. And so we need uh, alternative energy sources and we have to do our utmost to develop energy conversion so we can maintain our standard of living. What would you say are the main energy challenges in your area? The main energy challenges is energy conversion, uh, what we call uh, in a form green chemistry. Uh, when there are many molecules possible in a chemical reaction, we want one molecule and the rest are waste byproducts. And so to do that selectively is a major challenge of molecular surface science and catalysis science. And this is what I'm working on. 2011 is the International Year of Chemistry. What can chemistry do for society today? Uh, chemistry is at the heart of physical sciences and technologies. Um, when we understand uh, uh, the chemical processes that occur in uh, nature and uh, in, in chemical reactions, uh, we are most likely to increase life expectancy uh, by developing pharmaceuticals and uh, the quality of life uh, because of uh, our ability to, uh, to, to, give a, uh, to give people a rich life by using the fruits of chemistry. When you began your career, the processes behind chemical reactions and surfaces were a complete mystery. Today, researchers can see molecules at work. How would you describe the evolution of this work? The evolution was, uh, the, the, the uh, chemical science was empirical and it could be studied only on the macroscopic uh, uh, large scale. But uh, the instruments that uh, some of us developed and uh, my group included, uh, allows us to, to study surfaces on a molecular level. And this way you learn uh, on a molecular basis how reactions occur. And, and these discoveries that uh, were created are at the foundation of modern surface chemistry. Uh, and this will go a long way to develop new chemical technologies for the betterment of our life and life expectancy and quality of life.